Hi, I'm Steven Crowder, and today I will be reading The Green New Deal in its five-page entirety. The reason for this is full transparency, unlike our colleagues at Vox or the Young Turks, as well as uh, to see if people are actually interested in reading substantive uh, policies, if you want to call this that, and seeing if we get demonetized. I will be doing nothing else. Recognizing this is the whole Green New Deal, word for word. <clears throat> Recognizing the duty of the federal government to create a Green New Deal. Whereas the October 2018 report entitled Special Report on Global Warming of 1.5 Degrees Celsius by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and the November 2018 Fourth National Climate Assessment report found that, one, human activity is the dominant cause of observed climate change over the past century. Two, a changing climate is causing sea levels to rise and an increase in wildfires, severe storms, droughts, and other extreme weather events that threaten human life health communities, and critical infrastructure. Three, global warming at or above two degrees Celsius beyond pre-industrialized levels will cause A, mass migration, from the re- mass migration from the regions most affected by climate change, B, more than $500 billion in lost annual economic output in the United States by the year 2100, C, wildfires that by 2050, will annually burn at least twice as much forest area in the western United States than was typically burned by wildfires in the years preceding 2019. D. A loss of more than 99% of all coral reefs on Earth. E. More than 350 million more people to be exposed globally to deadly heat stress by 2050. And F. A risk of damage to one trillion dollars of public infrastructure and coastal real estate in the United States, and four, global temperatures must be kept below 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrialized levels to avoid the most severe impacts of a changing climate which will require, dash, dash, A, global reductions in greenhouse gas emissions from human sources of 40 to 60% from 2010 levels by 2030, and B, net zero global emissions by 2050. Whereas because the United States has historically been responsible for a disproportionate amount of greenhouse gas emissions, having emitted 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions through 2014, and has a high technological capacity, the United States must take a leading role in reducing emissions through economic transformation. Whereas the United States is currently experiencing several related crises with 1. Life expectancy declining while basic needs such as clean air, clean water, healthy food, and adequate health care, housing, transportation, and education are inaccessible to a significant portion of the United States population. <clears throat> Two. A decade trend of wage stagnation, deindustrialization, and anti-labor policies that has led to A. Hourly wages overall stagnating since the 1970s, despite increased worker productivity. B, the third worst level of socioeconomic mobility in the developed world before the Great Recession. C, the erosion of the earning and bargaining power of workers in the United States. And D, inadequate resources for public sector workers to confront the challenges of climate change at local, state, and federal levels. And three, the greatest income inequality since the 1920s, with A, the top 1% of earners accruing 91% of gains in the first few years of economic recovery after the Great Recession. B, a large racial wealth divide. That's how it's written. B, a large racial wealth divide amounting to a difference of 20 times more wealth between the average white family and the average black family. Semicolon. And C, a gender earnings gap that results in women earning approximately 80% as much as men. At the median, semicolon. Whereas climate, now we're back to another indentation. Whereas climate change, pollution, and environmental destruction have exacerbated systemic racial, regional, social, environmental, and economic injustices, parentheses, referred to in this preamble as systemic injustices, by disproportionately affecting indigenous peoples, communities of color, migrant communities, deindustrialized communities, depopulated rural communities, the poor low-income workers, women, the elderly, the unhoused, people with disabilities, comma, and youth, 
referred to in this preamble as frontline and vulnerable communities, end parentheses, semicolon, whereas climate change constitutes a direct threat to the national security of the United States. One, by impacting the economic, environmental, and social stability of countries and communities around the world, and two, by acting as a threat multiplier. Whereas the federal government led mobilizations during World War II and the New Deal created the greatest middle class that the United States has ever seen, but many members of frontline and vulnerable communities were excluded from many of the economic and social benefits of these mobilizations, and whereas the House of Representatives recognizes that a new national, social, industrial, and economic mobilization on a scale not seen since World War II and the New Deal era is, his, is a historic opportunity. One, to create millions of good, high-wage jobs in the United States. States. Two, to provide unprecedented levels of prosperity and economic security for all people of the United States. And three, to counteract systemic injustices. Now, comma, therefore, comma, be it resolved that it is, a, that it is the sense of the House of Representatives that, one, it is the duty of the federal government to create a Green New Deal. There we go. A, to achieve the net zero greenhouse gas emissions through a fair and just transition for all communities and workers. B, to create millions of good high-wage jobs and ensure prosperity and economic security for all people of the United States. C, to invest in the infrastructure and industry of the United States to sustainably meet challenges of the 21st century. D, to secure for all people of the United States for generations to come. One, clean air and water. Two, climate and community resiliency. Three, healthy food. Four, access to nature. And five, sustainable environment. <laughs> And E, to promote justice and equity by stopping current, preventing future, and repairing historic oppression of indigenous peoples, communities of color, migrant communities, deindustrialized communities, depopulated rural communities, the poor, low-income workers, women, the elderly, the unhoused, people with disabilities, and youth referred to in this resolution as frontline and vulnerable communities. No? Okay. It just repeated itself. So sorry, I thought I had the wrong page because it's the exact same thing. No. Page three. Number two, the goals described in subparagraphs A through E of paragraph one, parentheses, referred to in this resolution as the Green New Deal goals, should be accomplished through a 10-year national mobilization, parentheses, referred to in this resolution as the Green New Deal mobilization that will require the following goals and projects. A, building resiliency against climate change-related disasters, such as extreme weather, including by leveraging funding and providing investments for community-defined projects and strategies. B, repairing and upgrading the infrastructure in the United States, including, one, by eliminating, pop, by eliminating pollution and greenhouse gas emissions as much as technologically feasible. Two, by guaranteeing universal access to clean water. Three, by reducing the risks posed by climate impacts. And four, by ensuring that any infrastructure bill considered by Congress addresses climate change. C, meeting 100% of the power demand in the United States through clean, renewable, and zero-emission energy sources, including, one, by dramatically expanding and upgrading renewable power resources, and two, by deploying new capacity. D, building or upgrading to energy-efficient, distributed, and smart power grids, and ensuring affordable access to electricity. E, upgrading all existing buildings in the United States and building new buildings to achieve maximum energy efficiency, water efficiency, safety, affordability, comfort, and durability, including through electrification, F, spurring massive growth in clean manufacturing in the United States and removing pollution and greenhouse gas emissions from an industry as much as technologically feasible, including by expanding renewable energy manufacturing and investing in existing manufacturing and industry, G, working collaboratively with farmers and ranchers in the United States to remove pollution and greenhouse gas emissions from the agricultural sector as much as technologically feasible, including one, by supporting family farming, two, by investing in sustainable farming and land use practices that increase soil health, and three, by building a more sustainable food system that ensures universal access to healthy food. I need to wet my beak here. This is, this is not in the bill. <clears throat> H, overhauling transportation systems in the United States to remove pollution and greenhouse gas emissions from the transportation sector as much as it is technologically, fe ooh, ooh, ooh. technologically feasible, including through investment in, one, zero emission vehicle infrastructure and manufacturing, two, clean, affordable, and, ac and accessible public transit, and three, high-speed rail. One, 
mitigating and managing the long-term adverse health, economic, and other effects of pollution and climate change, including by providing funding for community-defined projects and strategies. J, removing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere and reducing pollution by restoring natural ecosystems through proven low-tech solutions that increase soil carbon storage, such as land preservation and deforestation. I'll be with you in a second. K, restoring and protecting threatened, endangered, and fragile ecosystems through locally appropriate and science-based projects that enhance biodiversity and supporting climate resiliency. L, cleaning up existing hazardous waste and abandoned sites, ensuring economic development and sustainability on those sites. M, identifying other emission and pollution sources and creating solutions to remove them. And N, Promoting the international exchange of technology, expertise, products, funding, and services with the aim of making the United States the international leader on climate action and to help other countries achieve a Green New Deal. Three, a Green New Deal must be developed through transparent and inclusive consultation, collaboration, and partnership with frontline and vulnerable communities, labor unions, worker cooperatives, civil society groups, academia, and businesses, and Four, to achieve the Green New Deal goals and mobilization, a Green New Deal will require the following goals and projects. A, providing and leveraging in a way that ensures that the public receives appropriate ownership stakes and returns on investment, adequate capital, including through community grants, public banks, and other public financing, technical expertise, supporting policies, and other forms of assistance to communities, organizations, federal, state, and local government agencies, and businesses, working on the Green New Deal mobilization. B, ensuring that the federal government takes into account the complete environmental and social costs and impacts of emissions through, one, existing laws, two, new policies and programs, and three, ensuring that frontline and vulnerable communities shall not be adversely affected. C, providing resources, training, and high quality education, including higher education, to all people of the United States with a focus on frontline and vulnerable communities so that all people of the United States may be full and equal participants in the Green New Deal mobilization. D, making public investments in the research and development of new clean and renewable energy technologies and industries. E, directing investments to spur economic development, deepen and diversify industry and business in local and regional economies and build wealth and community ownership while prioritizing high quality job creation and economic, social, and environmental benefits in frontline and vulnerable communities and deindustrialized communities that may otherwise struggle with the transition away from greenhouse gas intensive industries. One phrase. F, ensuring the use of democratic, I'm trying not to editorialize. Read along, just follow the bouncing crazy. F. Ensuring the use of democratic and participatory processes that are inclusive of and led by frontline and vulnerable communities and workers to plan, implement, and administer the Green New Deal mobilization at the local level. G, ensuring that the Green New Deal mobilization creates high quality union jobs that pay prevailing wages, hire local workers, hires, excuse me, local workers, offers training and advancement opportunities and guarantees wage and benefit parity for workers affected by the transition. H, guaranteeing a job with a family sustaining wage, adequate family and medical leave, paid vacations and retirement security to all people of the United States. I, strengthening and protecting the right of all workers to organize, unionize, and collectively bargain free of coercion, intimidation, and harassment. Strengthening and enforcing labor, workplace health and safety, anti-discrimination, and wage and hour standards across all employers, industries, and sectors. K, enacting and enforcing trade rules, procurement standards, and border adjustments with strong labor and environmental protections. One, to stop the transfer of jobs and pollution overseas, and two, to grow domestic manufacturing in the United States. L, L, 
Ensuring that public lands, waters, and oceans are protected and that eminent domain is not abused. M. Obtaining the free, prior, and informed consent of indigenous peoples for all decisions that affect indigenous peoples and their traditional territories, honoring all treaties and agreements with indigenous peoples, and protecting and enforcing the sovereignty and land rights of indigenous peoples. N. Ensuring a community environment where every business person is free from unfair competition and domination by domestic or international monop monopolies. And O. Providing all people of the United States with one high quality health care, two, affordable, safe, and adequate housing, three, economic security, and four, clean water, clean air, healthy and affordable food, and access to nature. End bill. Now, the reason I did that, I don't know why I did that. Hey there, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel or hit the notification bell. Do it. Oh, wait a second. Do you hear that little ding? It actually didn't make a ding sound. I just did it. It happened while my mouth was doing it and you thought it was coming from your computer. Uh, so that's fun. Also, there's some videos playing in these boxes next to me. Go watch those. You might enjoy them. You might not. I don't care. <laughs>